introducing from Louisville, Kentucky. He's wearing white trunks. He weighs 202 and a half pounds. Cassius Clay. Clay. His opponent from New York City, wearing black trunks, he weighs 188, Doug Jones. Doug Jones. Main event, 10 rounds. Cassius Clay, Doug Jones, you have been briefed by the New York State Athletic Commissioner, General Krulwich. Are there any questions? Okay, touch gloves, return to your respective corners, and come out boxing at the sound of the bell. Good luck. And here we go with a scheduled 10-round bout. The second-ranked heavyweight on the left, in white trunks, Cassius Clay. In the black trunks, waiting to come out, Doug Jones, who is ranked third. 14 and a half pounds lighter, Jones in black. Cassius Clay is three inches taller. He's in the white trunks, six feet three. Watch his speedy left hand. He's got a beauty. And don't forget, should this bout end in a knockout, we'll have a videotape rerun of the round. You just saw one of Clay's habits, pulling away from punches instead of trying to slip them. This may cause him trouble. Jones in black, 188, Clay, 202 and a half, and there it is! A good, solid punch. And just as we mentioned, pulling away from punches. We've got about two minutes to go in round one. Minute and 45 seconds, round one. A good left hook by Clay. About a minute to go. Round one. Forty five seconds. There's that beautiful left jab by Cassius Clay. A glancing right hand. Ten seconds left in round one. Cassius Clay was definitely shaken up by a shot that caught him as he was backing away from a punch instead of trying to slip it, as we pointed out. He's talking to his trainer, Angelo Dundee. Jimmy Wilde is on the outside of the ropes. Chickie Ferrara is to the right of Dundee. Clay, in marvelous condition at 202 and a half pounds, is fighting a very determined Doug Jones. Jones caught one left hook that was a Clay's big punch of round one. Jones has been knocked down previously. He is just off a seventh round knockout victory over Zora Foley. He's a boy that can take it. He's never been stopped and the same is true of undefeated Clay. We get ready now for round two 
Nearly 19,000 looking on at Madison Square Garden. Hope you're enjoying it. unusual for Clay to have as his only defense backing away from punches. Two minutes to go, round two. These are heavyweights punching with the speed of lightweights. About a minute to go in round two. Neither fighter is cut. Clay has never been cut in his boxing career. Jones several times. Thirty seconds left in round two. The bell in ten seconds. This is Chris Shankel at ringside, Madison Square Garden, as we look at Doug Jones, born right here in New York City 26 years ago. And as you see, he is most certainly an orthodox fighter, very even-tempered, quiet, plods along, as you have seen, and he knows of Cassius Clay's one glaring fault, and consequently has been using that left hook off a jab. This is a boy that knows how to carry the fight to his opponent, and that's what he's been doing. His opponent, Cassius Clay, as we await the start of round three, doesn't seem uh, any the worse for a heavy punch that he took in the first round. He is off a third round knockout over Charlie Powell. He has knocked out his last nine opponents most by prophesying the round. Tonight he has predicted round four. Here's the third round of a Schedule 10. Cassius Clay, the favorite, despite the more experience of Doug Jones.
Two minutes left. Round three. Clay now really using that left hand to advantage, keeping Jones off balance. Glancing punches, some picked off by Jones. Minutes ago in the third round. Good one, too, by Clay. 45 seconds left in the round. The bell in 10 seconds. <laughs> Who has captured the imagination of everybody across the country. People from all walks of life here at the garden tonight. Lauren Bacall, John Daly, Mrs. Bob Hope, Jason Robards, Tut Shaw, all sorts of folks who are Eating up the action, and we hope you are too. This is the fourth round at the Garden. Clay in white originally predicted a knockout in six, but then he decided to cut it down to four. This is the fourth round. Two minutes to go in round four. to go in round four and as you can see Jones is going to be a tough one to knock out in any round Clay appearing a little tired right now after the volley punching with 45 seconds to go in the round thirty seconds Good 
15 seconds to go. Fans are probably booing about the prediction. 10 seconds. because Cassius Clay punched away to no effect. This is part of the sellout crowd as we look at Lauren Bacall there on the left with Jason Robards, all sorts of theatrical people and business leaders. And I know in Louisville, the hometown of Cassius Clay, everybody's out to see this youngster go. It's round five at the Garden in New York. in the dark trunks. original round prediction. With all the head hunting, it's amazing that one of the fighters is not cut. Unmarked, both of them.
remaining in round six here at the Garden. Tremendous body punch by Jones. Minute and a half. You saw that punch a little low. Clay bending over to cover up. Less than one minute, round six. Thirty seconds. Scalzo referee. They'll get a one minute rest in 10 seconds. Jack Jones, managed by Alex Koxkowitz is a fighter that started in the Golden Gloves like Clay, lost in the semifinals for an Olympic berth in 1956, went on to win an Air Force championship, and has a record of only three losses and 25 fights. Now here is Cassius Clay, fighting tonight in a state that practically outlawed boxing two weeks ago. And here you have a standing room crowd only at Madison Square Garden, which is credit to this 21 year older and of the dozen leaders of Kentucky industry led by Bill Faversham, who is the manager of record. They have done a tremendous job handling a very likable young heavyweight at 202 and a half tonight. Jones 188. Round seven. in black, no puffiness around his eyes after having taken all those jabs. Clay is unmarked. Two minutes to go. You see the seventh round there on your screen. Schedule 10. By the way, these are eight ounce gloves. and a half.
One minute left in the seventh. One of the few times that Clay has grabbed on to catch his breath. Clay and White has gone 10 rounds twice in his career. Jones in the black trunks once went 15 rounds in a light heavyweight title bout with Harold Johnson. Ten seconds. Jones, who has 13 knockouts to his credit in 25 fights, while Clay has 14 in uh, an undefeated slate. Jones would appear to have the edge now, even though he went into the fight as the underdog. He uh, seems to be a boy of great stamina, and he has proven that he has ample durability and determination as we go into round eight at the Garden. seen has thrown many many punches many combinations most of which have been ill-timed having little effect good facial defense by Jones though look at the difference clay with his hands low Jones keeping them up for protection and in hitting position We're in round eight of a 10 round fight scheduled for 10 with two minutes to go in the eighth round. Both fighters were very, very much interested to know that Sonny Liston and Floyd Patterson were watching this bout. had to do a lot of work. We have one minute to go in the eighth round. seconds to go. Five seconds. Clay momentarily shaken up, but seems to be in top condition and is warding it off. Ladies and gentlemen, the Boxing Education and Research Foundation is engaged in a program aimed at the establishment of a retirement plan for boxers. This nonprofit voluntary organization already has obtained the cooperation of boxing promoters throughout the country. More help is needed. 
and we appeal to you as fight fans to add your support to this worthwhile cause. No salaries are paid any officials of the Boxing Education and Research Foundation, but there is a need for funds to further its current study, which will lead to a retirement fund for fighters. Send your contributions to Commissioner Harry W. Falk, Post Office Box 540, Ukiah, California, spelled U-K-I-A-H. Box 540, Ukiah, California, to Commissioner Harry W. Falk. Now we get set for round nine of the Schedule 10. Cassius Clay, little arm weary now. is taking every punch that Clay has thrown. Some on the button, too. Two minutes left in the ninth round. left eye. Jones in the dark trunks. trying for a knockout. Come on, Ten seconds of much needed rest. Cassius Clay getting the full treatment here before the start of the final round to freshen him up. He shot the works in the ninth round trying for a knockout. Artie Idella, Frank Forbes are the two judges. Joel Loscalzo is the referee. The tenth round coming up, possibility of a decision or even a draw. Well, let's see what happens as we go into the final stages.
Jones is a little rubbery legged. He's taken a lot of good shots to the head. We have a minute and 40 seconds left in the fight. 140 to go. The five point must system is in effect here in the event of a draw. And then only will it uh, help in the determination. The rounds are even, then they use the point system. And that could happen here. We have one minute to go in the bout. Beautiful finish. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. There's always a possibility of a draw at Madison Square Garden. The judges, Artie Idala, Frank Forbes, Idala on the near side of the ring, Forbes on the opposite side, and of course the third man was Joe Lascalzo. Neither fighter was knocked down, neither fighter sustained any cuts, which is great credit to a tremendous job of physical conditioning by Angelo Dundee in the case of Cassius Clay at home we're looking now. And Rolly Hackner and Jimmy August and manager Alex Koskowitz on the part of Doug Jones. It's been a while since we've seen a fighter that has taken as many punches and seemingly has just brushed them off like water off a duck's back. Doug Jones, who lost only three in 25, Clay going into this bout undefeated in 17 starts. Johnny Addy now has collected the cards First of Artie Idala, and now of Frank Forbes, and he is getting it verified by the executive inspector, Jack Duberstein, and secretary Dan Dowd, as we look at Cassius Clay, who is directly above us, shouting to some of his fans, he put on a tremendous finishing flurry in that tenth and final round. There is Doug Jones, the 26-year-old older, who grew up right here in New York City. And now for the decision, here is Johnny Addy. Both judges, Adi Dollar and Frank Forbes, they score it this way. Five, four, one even favor of Clay. <laughs> Referee, Ladies and gentlemen, five, four, and one on the part of the two judges at ringside, and eight, one, and one on the part of the referee, Joe Lascalzo. We're going up in the ring now to get a with Cassius Clay. As soon as the pictures are taken, ladies and gentlemen, he is a very happy victor. Angelo Dundee is the man on Cassius Clay's right. Cassius Clay is mimicking some of the people who are booing the decision. Well, Doug Jones very nonchalantly says anything. Debris is coming into the ring now. And here is the man that won it. Unanimous decision. He is mugging the still cameras here. Cassius, what a battle. Thank you very much. Turn up this way. Up this way. 
How was it? Well, this fellow surprised me. I predicted four. I had him going in four, but he's just tougher than I thought he was. Can't call them all. But I understand Sonny Liston is watching this fight. And as soon as I get to Miami, I want that bomb, and he will fall in eight. Francis, would you like to meet this boy again before you get listed? No, I don't whoop him. He's out of the way. He'll mess up my timetable. I am going for Sonny Liston. I want that big bear bad. All right. What are your plans now? Well, my plans are to go back to Louisville, Kentucky, take care of business, and go on back to Miami to take care of training for Liston. You did a very good job. Nice going. Thank you very much. Very good. Cassius Clay, ladies and gentlemen, who won it 5-4-1 on the cards of the two judges and 8-1-1 on the card of the referee.